I want to ask you both about the voice and how Anthony Albanese is handling this. We saw that he really grew quite agitated in that interview with uh, ben Fordham yesterday. Richo, do you think he's losing his cool because he's getting exasperated? That's what Simon Benson writes today in The Australian. And also, what do you think about the conflicting statements that he's giving on the treaty? I think for a start, he's been, uh, he's been reading the polls, uh, both uh, hmm. internal and external. And uh, if he hasn't got the message from that that the voice is in trouble, then uh, I, I wonder how long he's going to keep the job. I mean, it's it really is uh, in, in huge strife, I think, the voice. If you had a, uh, a vote on Saturday, it would go down. Uh, now, it's not the end of the world if it goes down for Albo, but he has invested so much personal prestige in it that he can't escape some sort of, uh, of damage uh, if it goes under. I mean, you just said there, the first part of your answer, you wonder how long he's going to keep the job. Mm. So you think this will really hurt him politically if and when it fails? I, I think uh, it's, it's got to hurt him. I mean, I, uh, I mean, Albo's all set up for a 10-year run because he's got no opposition. Uh, Liberals are in disarray. Everything's going well for him. And so the only way that, that he can do some damage is, is if he's hurting himself. It's got to be self-inflicted. And unfortunately, it just seems to me that that is in danger of occurring right now. Jenna, do you think it would have made sense for the government to adopt the proposal which, again, Ben Fordham put to Albo yesterday, but a lot of people have been putting to the Prime Minister, that he should have just stuck with recognition in the Constitution because those polls indicate that a lot more Australians, not everyone, but a lot mm. more Australians support that? I, yeah, I agree, Sherry. I think overwhelmingly a majority of Australians would agree with recognition. I don't think there's any argument about that. I think the only issue is that this second portion of the question, which is, you know, this uh, this extra body. But it is interesting. I'd never thought about it until Richo just mentioned it there. I was thinking, you know, if the voice does fail, it could be absolutely catastrophic for not only reconciliation, but even moving forward with Albo's tenure as Prime Minister. Because, you know, I've been hearing for the past couple of months that even within Cabinet and caucus, some of the very senior Labor MPs are also going Going. We don't even know why we've just been steamrolling ahead with, uh, you know, the voice and the, the uh, enshrining things to Parliament and things like that. So I think there's a lot of question marks, which probably goes to the fact of why the Prime Minister is becoming so personally agitated.